Right folks, so something a wee bit different here. We've got an album review. Got a co-host, Mr. Gavin Hines. You'll maybe recognise him from episode... Three or four. Three or four from season one. He's been allowed back. <laughs> so, he's been allowed back. He must have been good. Got an album from Mr. Mr. Martin Milady. Martin was on season one as well, so go and check him out. Episode something, seven or eight. Uh, I've not listened to it yet. He popped it through the door. Sweet. Gave me a free t-shirt as well. Where's mine? Where's mine? Where's Gav's? <laughs> so, we're going to listen to it. Not heard it. I've seen Martin live though, so I'm assuming there'll be songs on here that I might remember. Live, they were pretty cool. They were rocking, so... Old school CD. We're going to actually pop it in. CD player. Remember them? Those old fangled things. And uh, I'm guessing we just... I remember eight tracks, come on. We just go for it. Let's go for it. Right, Martin Milady album is Where It All Began. First songs, Take Me In. You ready, Gav? I'm ready, let's go. Seven songs as well. And that, that'll annoy my, uh, everything's got to be even. <laughs> we'll listen to one track twice then. It should be rocking. Yeah, it, it is a band, but it, it just goes by his name, there's three of them. So.
Oops, just leads right into track two. Right, thoughts on the first track then? Oh, you could, that's Good a production. Good production. So, that's a gig opener. The atmosphere I forgot to... Uh, I'll need to ask Martin, I don't know... It doesn't say on it where he recorded it. But whoever's... Uh, whoever's recorded it's done a damn good job. Aye. So, I'm I, I think Martin he, he has got an Aussie vibe to his vocals. It reminds me of somebody else as well. It's an Aussie mix of somebody, but I can't quite Guitar riff. It. was very, uh, like yeah. a slowed down Maiden. Uh, yeah, the writing on the wall track. It was like a cross between Maiden uh, and, and there was a bit of Slash. Uh -huh. Sort of guns a wee bit. Yeah. But um, like big, massive, massive production. That sounded awesome. Special intro, like, with That's the not, stereo so stuff going on. That was cool. Obviously, when Martin was coming on, I got, I, I looked up a few, he's got songs on YouTube, and there was one that really stuck my mind, but it wasn't that one, it was a faster one. I can't remember what it was called, though, so I think it's going to be one of them. Mm -hmm. And I, I really liked it, because it was a total catchy riff. I like that one, that was but catchy. That was that's a, that's cool. opening the hydro job, lights down, the lights, the intro starts, the lights are coming up, yep. and then just bang, I like it. Right, like it. track two, we've got Lost again. If it's the one I'm thinking of, I'll give you a shout. That's that one. I think that's where you've opened the gig with. When I seen him. Alright, okay. But the riff is dead simple, but catchy.
There we go. I like that one. Bit yeah, more, bit well. upbeat, more mm -hmm. rocking. I was just waiting for a, a face melting guitar solo. Two handed tapping. That's Martin, you need to get a face melting guitar solo on that song. Sweet picking and get a top stuff. hat as well. Well, what I did like about that is though the bass is well in the mix, and the bass isn't just as a bassist. I like the bass is playing some of the melody. It's playing like the intro riff stuff of the guitars. It's not just stuck at uh, the back playing. Need like to find out who recorded, how were the drums recorded because they are sounding bloody massive as well. Um, like mix is brilliant again. Mm -hmm. Everything's well balanced. I'm, I'm jealous. It makes all my mixes sound really <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> right, next song is How Long. How long is it? That sounds very critical. I don't know if you can hear it, we're talking to each other whilst it's playing, but you probably can't hear, so I'm saying to Gav, it sounds like a very Britpop, that one, because the, the other two were very, um, you can see the Slash influence, mm -hmm. but that one was quite Britpop, so it was like a cross, to me, like a cross between Blur and Supergrass, maybe remember that band Ash? Oh yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, like, oh, aye, yeah, like yeah. kind of Britpop, a wee bit, but a wee bit more rocking. Aye, er, aye, erring on the side of rock. Um, oh, I like that as well. If the first track reminded me of being at a gig at the Hydro, that one reminded me of being at a gig at the Barrowlands. That was a Barrowlands song. There you go. So, I liked it though. So Gav, Gav's associating every song with a music venue. Yep. Good or bad. Right, next song we've got. So far. <laughs> next song we've got is Little Changes. Here we go.
that was track four, Gav. That was uh, little changes. So I said to you when it first started, it sounded like Oasis, but it didn't sound like Oasis no. once it got going. I can't think who it, it reminds me of. It was a wee bit ocean colour scene. But uh, you went from right. Aussie vocals to Mark from Take That. <laughs> In a good way. In a good way. In a good way. Um, that was good. The only thing was, I, I felt like it, I was like, it could have been longer. Aye, I, I, yeah, yeah. I was, I was like, the last few songs, I was like, I was waiting for like maybe stretch the bridge out, get a big shredding guitar solo in there or Crash something. Crash them. <laughs> It was good uh, again, I, I can't uh, think, it reminds me of something. It reminds me of something, but I just, I can't quite place it. Which is a good thing. It's got that. Because it's not a clone. It's just got a, a lovely um, 90s feel mm -hmm. to it, like a, a sort yep. of. But it's not. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's got a 90s feel, but it, it's not copying anyone in particular. It just makes you think of that era. Mm -hmm. That was a Martel song for me. When Martel used to do kicks. I suppose they do now because they're yeah. warehouse or whatever. Right. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> Temple Gav. Temple. Next song, Close Your Eyes. I'm an old man, I can't there we go. Go. with these new names. <laughs> <laughs>
end on a weird chord. I like it though. Like a chord you weren't mm, expecting. Aye. Nice though. So that, you know what that sounded like? That was like a cross between Bon Jovi and have you heard more recent Pearl Jam? Yeah, yeah. Like Sirens? Uh -huh. Like song, uh -huh. songs like that? Yeah. Oh, I like that. that it was wasn't my favourite, but that's because I, I like it a bit more rock. The guitar solo saved that for me. Mm -hmm. I just like mine a, a bit more upbeat, but I know you've got to have the slower ones. Uh -huh. Sounded great. It's, again, that mix, that production is just yep. brilliant. Right, next one's called Moving On, so we're moving on. Moving on, let's move on. <laughs> Second last song, Gav. my second favourite so far. Second favourite for me as well. Yep. So that, that that was very much a cross between... When I'm saying a, it's, you're not ripping them off by the way, it's it just this is what it reminds me of. So it's like mm -hmm. Stereophonics and you'd said... Manic Street Manic Preacher, special Preacher. solo. Just... Uh, Rhythm yeah. section, bass and drum, <sighs> drums are 100% oh. linked in, which is allowing... Martin on his guitar to just float along the top, but and the bass as well. It, again, it's just all happy and bouncy. Like I, my ear just automatically focuses on the bass guitar when it's playing. Aye, the and you can bass, that on its own. The bass and drums were to oh. totally uh, linked in there. But totally locked. That's definitely my f second favourite. What's your first one? But well, we'll leave that to the end. Leave it to the end. Right, I'm stuck between last two. track. This is drive me up the ball because I'm That's always what I do to you. always <laughs> Always working even numbers, so it's got to be six or eight. It can't be. <laughs> Maybe there's a hidden bonus track. Maybe we'll, 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 we'll see. So the last one's beyond the wall. <laughs> and I've just noticed there's no uh, none of the songs are the name of the album. You know, sometimes you get. Oh, it's not that title track. Unless that's the hidden one. <gasps> it's the hidden one. There we go. It's just out. Right, last one beyond the wall. Here we go.
sound of them when you get into there. I think, it, I think it's even... The uh, vocals sound enormous. The eyes. Oh, that's good. Folks, there we go. That was Martin Milady's Where It All Began. Uh, what last song, Gav? That was Beyond the Wall. So, what did you think of that one? I liked a nice way to close the album. That, that end section, I, I had hints of November Rain. A tribute. But a tribute to Slash. You, you so could bad. have done that for another two minutes and built, built it even bigger and bigger. But live, that would. Aye. That's a gig finisher as yeah. well as an album finisher to me. Acoustic guitar sounded lovely. Drummer was playing well. You think it was Maracas? I think it was the, the brushes. Then. I don't know. I don't know. The snare sounded too snappy for a brush hit, but maybe it was both. Sounded good though. Right, so seven songs off Martin's 
um, album. What was your favourite one? The first and the second. It's between a tie between those two. So my favourite one's the second one. Mhm. Picks up, but I like but the kind of build up in the, f- the first one. I would have said Lost Again was my favourite. Mhm. I would say Moving On. Was, was maybe my high. second favourite. Fa- second second favourite. I'm stuck between the first Take two. Take Me In was third and Beyond the Wall was fourth for me. Well, first two. Take Me In and Lost Again were my first choice joint. Second one, Moving On. I didn't know we could have joint. <laughs> aye, aye, I've, I've changed the rules. Hold on, I'm changing mine again. <laughs> Lost Again first. Moving On, Take Me In, joint second for me. Right. Beyond the Wall yeah. third. So you didn't specify the parameters before asking me so. It's because we've never done this before. We've never done it before. Right. Never done it again, so so what you, what's your three then? Right. Are you allowed so, one joint? Right, so one joint required. to take me and I lost again for first. Right. Then moving on. Yep. Uh, oh, see, that needs to be another joint. No, uh, Close Your Eyes is my third. The slow one. All right, okay. Mm-hmm. There you go. So overall, I mean, artwork, presentation, everything looks good. We've got Martin's ugly mug there, but he's a good looking fella, so he can get away with it. And uh, it just drives me up the wall that you've ended it on seven songs, Martin. Make it six. <laughs> or put a hidden bonus track on. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the girl on the back? What's happened to her? She, she looks unhappy. Have you ditched her or something? Don't know, maybe. Don't know. I liked yeah. it though. Yeah. Thought it was good. Uh, I've seen Martin live, definitely worth going to see them live. I know obviously the band is Martin Milady, there is three of them in total. Martin's obviously vocals and guitars. I don't know the name of the other two guys, but I have seen them. All three of them are brilliant live. And uh, they're on social media, so you can check them out for gigs and oh, all that sort of thing. I'm coming to the next one. But uh, I liked it. I liked it as well. Are we doing scores out of 10 or anything like that? Or? How many horns should, up or something? Should we do? <laughs> horns up. <laughs> horns up, horns down, or horns in the middle? Or what, what, we haven't uh, we need you, to specify are you, are you the parameters. It two horns then? Two horns up for me. Two hor- I'm going to give it two up. horns as well. So that's four horns in total. <laughs> the mark level has been set. Yeah. <laughs> right, so check Martin out uh, on social media. He has got some live gigs coming up, so definitely check them out. I think they're supporting, he, he put a thing up recently, they're supporting someone, can't remember who, but they're a good live band. Sweet. And uh, I'm guessing it's available online, Online, um, streaming, downloading, so where it all began, go and check it out, show your support, download it, stream it, and uh, leave a wee comment, you can let us know what, what your favourite songs are. How many horns you give it? <laughs> and, uh, until next time, I think we're going to try one of these again. But we're going to go with our favourite made well, my favourite made in albums. I agree with the first one, second one. Mm, I'll fight you for it. How is that one of your favourites? Because it is. Um, mm, I'm not even going to show you what they are yet. You'll need to wait and see. Controversial. Need to wait and see. What's your favourite one like? Power Slave. Right. Power Slave's my first. It's got a couple of Z tracks on it. <laughs> <laughs> right, folks, <Okay>. until <laughs> next time. Killer, no filler. Cheers.